Hi, my name is Nikita. Today we'll be talking about how to replace a stack member in a physical stack. This process is the same for flexible stack as well, so this video will apply for both. Uh, assuming that you do have your physical stack up and running like I do, uh, if you do not, then do check out our other videos on how to create a stack. Um, so this is a physical stack that I do have up and running. Uh, this one will be the switch that I'll be replacing, and this will be the replacement switch. First and foremost, let's go ahead and unplug the power behind the replacing switch, and then go ahead and claim the device or the replacement device under organization inventory. Then we'll add the switch to the network containing the stack. After the switch has been added to the network, before it is added to the stack or replaced, it should be bought online individually and updated to the same firmware build as the rest of the stack. The configured firmware build for the network can be verified in the firmware section on the switch page. So if you see a flashing green or a flashing white LED light on the switch, that means the switch is going through the firmware upgrade. Let's wait for the LED light to turn solid white or solid green, and then we can proceed to the next step. Now that we see that the switch is online on the dashboard and we have a white solid LED on the switch, we can go ahead and clone the configuration from the old switch to the replacement switch. For that, navigate to switch, switch stacks, Select the existing switch stack. Navigate to the clone and replace member tab. Select the source switch to be replaced. Select the destination switch which will replace the source switch and say clone switch. Now that's done, we can physically swap the cables used for stacking. Now I'll be physically swapping the stacking cable from the replacing switch to the replacement switch. Once this is done, you should see the stacking uh, come up online on dashboard. This method is same for flexible stack as well. That should be it. For more information, please refer our documentation.